We all love Chase the Ace and his stats. Well, I saw this tweet from him just a couple of weeks ago, and it got me thinking, are those going to be the top strategies after the update as well? Well, I had a look at the top five. Let's see if they're still strong. And our first hitter, this is from a recent EW qualifier. It's Fluxy from Tribe Gaming with a Queen Charge Lalo. Now, I've seen people do this a few times, sending in the Flame Flinger with the Queen Charge. It's never made sense to me, unless they go in different directions, and that's exactly what we've got here. You see a lot of people, they send the Flame Flinger in with the Queen or the Warden sometimes, and the Flame Flinger gets very little value because the Queen and the Warden are right out in front of it, taking out targets. The Queen's got some nice path, and now we are gonna have to rage her up. We wanna get rid of, oh, we wanna get rid of that air defense. Tell you what, the buff to those air defenses, I think, have made a real difference. But let's see how the Queen gets on here. So there's not too much damage on her right now. The great thing, look at the Flame Flinger, look at the Flame Flinger. The Flame Flinger, I mean, there was no other way to get right in on top of that scatter shot. And the Flame Flinger's gonna get it easy. Scatter shot, not even getting one shot off, it's down. Queen's already taken out that bottom two compartments. Got a jump spell down for her, so we want the king to take out this bottom left side. We want the queen to go into the core. She should, uh, oh, look at the CC. Who's this? Mag Magino? Magino? That's a bad CC to be putting up against someone like Tribe, man. Wow, three ice golems. No, 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 no. You want a damage CC for this. Okay, Lalo already. We're gonna Lalo the town hall. I always get nervous with this. Now, Fluxy's actually sending in uh, the contents of the Flame Flinger as well, which was some Lutons and a Robo Drag. Warren's abilities not going to save everything through the Town Hall suit because it hit the Tornado Trap. So coming out this back end, I mean, we've got the RC down. She's going to take out the enemy RC. She's going to move into this. No, she's not. Oh, no, she's down. Oh, this is, this is, I mean, anyone else doing this, and I'd say this was looking bad. But it's Fluxy. I mean, it's Fluxy. Come on. It's going to three star. Oh, wow. The enemy RC is just popping away at these loons. But the oil sneaking up behind her. Getting in there. Going to do some serious damage to her. Nice work, oil. I mean, brilliant. Not a resigned in three star. Not as powerful as maybe we saw before the update. I don't know, but certainly didn't seem as strong as prior to the update. But still, a three star is a three star. GG, well done, Fluxy. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, and this one is a super dry kit, and it's not from one of the Pro Wars. This is from my home clan, one of my home clans. Uh, so I'm in Mashed Potatoes for CWL. They're part of Equilibrium. Uh, my home clan is actually the Wolf Pack, but uh, I'm in Mashed Potatoes with these guys. I'm doing terrible. I have no time for CWL. It's horrible. I hate it. I never want to do it again, but I do it. I do it, I do it for the team. I, I, I fill a spot. Anyway, so Rook, Rook here. Rook here, not someone I've ever streamed before. I think Rook here has come in with the uh, the War Dojo guys, so uh, we'll see how this one goes. I haven't watched all of these attacks the whole way through, um, so I don't know if they're all three stars or if they're resigning three stars, but we'll see how Rook here does. So we have, what we got? So we have pretty standard composition. Okay, so lots lots of super drags, and we have quite heavy on the, on the freezes on this one. Let's see. So we're fun on this right-hand side. We want to get... Okay, so we want to send the Super Drags down through the base. We're going to blimp the Town Hall. Here we go. So blimp for the Town Hall. That should take out this whole section, hopefully. It depends on what's in there, actually. But we'll hit the Tornado Trap. And the Sweeper's pushing it away. It should still get there quite easily, though. Decide to freeze up the Town Hall and the Tesla. Got a couple of Super Drags that have moved across that way. So the Loons that have come out... I mean, they got the Town Hall. They didn't get much more value, but they got the Town Hall, I guess. Super Drags have split a lot. Now, that one that's just moving into the core now, that is going to get some nice value if we can get those sweepers. That'll stop that sweeper from pushing everything to the outside of the base. Heroes are already down. Other than the RC. The RC's not down yet, is she? No. So, King's used ability. Queen's pulling in behind the King. She's still got ability. Here comes the RC now, over at 3 o'clock. She's only got that scatter shot section to get through. Now the enemy queen's still up, and we've missed completely that central scatter shot. That's not ideal, and we're losing server drags left and right. 
I mean, they're all going down. The poison spell that we didn't use for the CC is now on the enemy queen. Once it were dragged against her and the warden and the isle, I mean, she's done. She's done. Don't need to worry about that. But this sweeper, this sweeper's just been an absolute pain. The scatter's just pounding away on this super drag while the sweeper just pushed it away. Oh, look at that. One hit from the super drag, the sweeper's down. I mean, it's, it's going to be a three. Oh, wow, it's not going to be a... I mean, it's not a resounding three. And a minute. It's a minute left. It's, it's, I mean, it's going to three star. The queen's got ability. It's going to three star. But a whole minute. Oh, we'll, we'll fast forward through this. I mean, still fairly strong. I don't think the nerve's done that much to super drags, do you? Let's have a look at another uh, one of these top five. We'll see if they're just as good. And it's Kronos with a Lalo. Uh, now, we've used a few zap spells. It's not... Is it a zap? I mean, I guess it's kind of a zap Lalo. That wasn't in the... Oh, was it? Do you know what? It's it's kind of like a Sui Lalo. Because we've we've cleared a few of the defenses. I mean, using a zap spell to get rid of an Inferno was just the same as using some Skelly spells to, you know, to distract it. So, I guess we'll we'll compare this to kind of a, a Sui Lalo. So that was in the top five. Let's see how Kronos does. Uh, so this is again from the EW qualifier uh, a few days ago. So we have a skelly spell to actually distract for the king to get in on the enemy king and queen. That's working quite well. The scatter shots distracted. The queen's got the town hall. So that's done nice work on the left hand side. Queen, queen not going to last much longer. She's going to go down soon. King's ability is going to make sure that they get through at least that compartment. We've got a couple of robo drags in with this as well. Just for path of the looks of it. We want to get them in to path that right hand compartment where the eagle is stone slammers taking out the top compartment got a few loons to support got a few clean up minions down we haven't got this the main push of the army in yet we want to clear this right hand side first and then i guess we're going to push in from this top section here we go okay so we got lalo now coming in from the top section the hero push has got some some fantastic value the rc is moving into the core she's going to get the the core uh multi which would be fantastic the the other multi's down as well i mean that was nice this is looking crushed. I mean, I'd say this is... I mean, Fluxus was a, was a strong queen charge. Uh, this is looking... This. I mean, this is this is huge. Kronos, this is amazing. This is such a strong Lalo. So much left up. You've got a bloody Hound left up. I mean, the Hound hasn't even popped yet. Come on. Oh, right. Now it pops. Now it pops. It's a Grind Expo. It's one Wizard Tower. I mean, you could have swagged all those... You're still swagging spells. You could have swagged more spells. But you're swagging spells. You didn't need them. GG. So, Lalo, obviously, still strong. I mean, there's no denying it. The, the, the buffs and the nerfs from the update, they just, so far, haven't taken anything out of these attacks. And next up, we have Rikires. So this is a, so it's a Blizz Lalo. The, ooh, wow, that's a long way for the, that's a long way for the Blizz to go. Are we trying to get the Town Hall? No, we're not, are we? Are we? Okay, that, that looks like we dropped that looked like we dropped that early so we dropped them into that small compartment so do we want to clear that whole compartment it looks like we do that looks like it's planned okay i remember this i i remember this when i streamed it i was very confused initially that looked like it was dropped early but looking at it again now yeah you can see it looks like it was planned to get clear uh, of that whole section so we got the queen down now to take out the enemy CC. Got a baby dragon to help her. They're down at six o'clock. Where are we going to path the king? Got a wizard down just after three o'clock. That's going to be responsible for cutting that right hand side. One archer down out of the way of everything just before three. Okay. So I'm guessing, yeah. So we're going to send the king into that eagle compartment. That is going to funnel the queen in. Oh, wow. That is going to funnel the queen into the town hall compartment. We've still got one super wall breaker. So it's going to be a late. It's going to be a late super wall break. The RC's in with the king now to back him up. That whole compartment. We want to get that whole thing cleared. Look at that. Look at that one super wall breaker moving into the town hall compartment. That is, oh, that pattern is amazing. Reek, that pattern is so good. We've still got some invisies for the queen as well. We didn't need them all to clear that compartment, you see. Queen's going to get the town hall, no problem. Here comes Lalo. Over on the right-hand side, coming in from 2 o'clock. I mean, everything. We're throwing everything. We've got about eight loons left just to clean up. Here's the second Lava Hound as well. In from pretty much where the first one came. 
Now, the Queen's moving into that middle mall D. The RC's still up. The King's... I mean, the King's still up. That's all the heroes. Warren's ability is going to get him through into this back end. That's first Wizard Tower down. Next, the Archer. Then into the Tesla farm. And the single. And everything else. The, the Hound's still up. Come on. Oh, wow. Reek. That is godly. That is so good. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't think the nerf uh, or the buff on any of the, the super drags or the defense or anything like that. Nah. That's not anything. Now, our final hit. This is from one of the guys in Elysium War with me in CWL for Thunder Republic. This is Mayhem Max. So, Super Bowler Smash was one of the ones that was in the top five um, prior to the update. I don't think it's going to... There's nothing really that's going to change this attack that much uh, since the update, to be fair. So I'm expecting this to triple, um, and triple with these, to be fair. It's such a strong attack. See it loads at the minute. Loads. Um, especially in um, Equilibrium, you use it a lot. Thunder Republic, you're using it a heck of a lot. I mean, you can see, already see the path in here. The Flame Slinger is going to going to cut out that whole top section. I mean, it's all going to get cut out. That Warden is going to get the whole bottom section. There's one section of that wall that's open. Just look at it, 230. There's one little corner of that wall that's open. I mean, that is, that's perfect for the rest of this army. They have nowhere else to go. Once this Warden gets this Archer Tire, you're going to see everything dropped. It's all going to go into that one section. There we go. All the Super Bowlers. Now the King. Then the Yeti, the Ice Golem, the Queen, and everything else. All straight into that first compartment. Jump spell. Manages to get them through, not only to the scatter shot, the town hall, the eagle compartment, and everything else. The next jump spell gets them around to the back end. I mean, if you look at that now, those that kill squad can basically kill everything from the scatter right through to this back end multi. It's all it's all accessible. Everything's done. Town hall is going to go down. Oh, wow. I tell you what, the super bowlers have taken a real beating. They've taken an absolute pounding. Now, we see this a lot, to be fair. We see the Super Bowlers taking most of the pounding. So they end up dying, you know, I'd say nine times out of ten. You finish these Super Bowler smash attacks without any Super Bowlers. It's, it's normally heroes. Back to my original point. Probably, you know, last video, the video before, the video... And all the videos. The, the heroes the heroes need a, need a nerf. The heroes are too strong. Too strong. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments if you think I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm right. The, the heroes need nerf. Look at this. The heroes basically are going to take out... I mean, all the Super Bowlers died with, what, 40% of the base left? So the heroes are taking out 40% on their own. No no healer support, nothing. They're, they're just taking out 40% of the base. I mean, that's ridiculous. And they're doing it with these. It's just wrecked. It's completely destroyed. It doesn't even stand a chance. There's um, What cleanup you got? You got a couple of wizards and some little barbs. I mean, that's that's nothing. And you don't count the Yeti. There is no clean-up Yeti. It's not a thing. Stop talking about clean-up Yetis. Wow. Okay, so that was uh, that was a strong hero finish. Okay, so thoughts. Before the update, we had... The top five were basically um, three versions of Lalo, uh, plus Super Drags, and plus the Super Bullet Smash. Lalo, still strong. Always going to be strong. I don't think... I mean, you'd have to do some serious nerf to get Lalo to be one of the weaker attacks. And it's not its not strong because it's overpowered. It's strong because it's so versatile. And if you know how to use Lalo, you can take down most bases. Super Drags, has the nerf done anything to them? I mean, I'll be honest. I've seen less people use them. And I've noticed that. So maybe that has, maybe the fear has stopped people from using them. The actual nerf, I mean, I don't think it, it has nerfed them really. I don't think they're any less powerful. Uh, statistically, they are. I don't think they're uh, less powerful enough to stop people from tripling with them. It's maybe a little difficult, it's a little more difficult, but not not massively. And as far as Super Bowl Smash, that's, that's just mental. I mean, it's just a strong attack. They haven't done anything to really make that any weaker. And you can see... While you've got heroes that are hugely overpowered, any attack like that is going to be, you know, it's going to be a decent three star if you can keep the heroes safe until the last sort of 30 or 40% of the, the base. So it is what it is. Has the update, other than the clan capital stuff, made a difference to uh, attacks? Maybe only in the fact that people are looking to use less super drags. And that's a that's a huge thing. That's that's a bonus. I like that. 
The rest of it, it's made no difference. Clan Capital, I'm yet to be impressed. But anyway, that's enough for me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, don't forget, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Cans from Bastard Gaming. See you later.